AQA A-Level Physics. Uh, this is my second electricity video. It's quite a short one. Uh, current voltage characteristics. So I'm covering this bit of the specification uh, about conductors, semiconductors, uh, lamps, what Ohm's law is, blah, blah. Now, you need to learn these. If you get a component and you put a voltage across it and a current flows through it uh, and you change the voltage and you measure the current and you plot a graph uh, and you can have uh, VI graphs, which are the three at the top, or IV graphs, which are the three at the bottom. And you need to be able to recognize them and you need to be able to sketch them. So I suggest if you're doing some flashcards, which is a really good way of learning stuff, then um, these should definitely be one of your flashcards. OK, so voltage current characteristics, VI characteristics. Notice they cover positive and negative values of voltage. Uh, notice that for a fixed resistor, it's just a straight line. Uh, and on the top graph, uh, the steeper it is, the bigger the resistance. Notice for a filament lamp, it's a curve, and we know that because that's to do with temperature. Uh, notice for a diode, uh, a diode only lets current flow one way. Um, notice also, it's not mega important, but you need a little bit of voltage to get the diode to conduct. It's called the threshold voltage. Okay, so learn these graphs, very important. Ohm's law, Georg Ohm. Okay, now basically Ohm's law says uh, if the voltage gets bigger, the current gets bigger. Under certain circumstances, for example, at constant temperature, they are proportional to each other. Uh, and if a component obeys Ohm's law, it is an ohmic conductor. I think it's useful to think of Ohm's law as more of a rule of thumb as opposed to a law. There are laws in physics that you cannot break, such as conservation of momentum. That's a law, okay? Ohm's law is more a rule of thumb. If you look at something like a, a bulb, I mean, does a bulb obey Ohm's law? Because the graph isn't a straight line. Uh, however, obviously, that's not at constant temperature. So be aware of Ohm's law. It's more Ohm's rule of thumb, I would say. A note about voltmeters and ammeters. Now, you know that to measure the current through something, uh, you put an ammeter in series. Now, doesn't that add to the resistance of the circuit? Uh, and the answer is, well, it actually will. Therefore, you want the, the resistance of the ammeter to be as small as possible. A perfect ammeter would have zero resistance. Usually, in nearly all questions, you will assume that the ammeter has zero resistance. Uh, a perfect voltmeter would have infinite resistance. Uh, why? We say so that it doesn't draw any current, as in draw, as in pull any current from the circuit, because then it might change the voltage across the thing that you're measuring the voltage across. So a, a perfect ammeter in series has zero resistance. A perfect voltmeter in parallel has infinite resistance. In any questions that you do, unless it makes it very, very clear in the question, you will assume that the ammeter has no resistance. You will assume that the voltmeter has infinite resistance. 